we will discuss today about the stomach arterial supply. The stomach has a rich arterial supply derived from the celiac trunk and its branches. As you can see, I've indicated here the stomach, the first and second part of the duodenum, the spleen, the liver, and the gallbladder. The celiac trunk is only about one centimeter long and springs from the aorta between the right and left crura of the diaphragm. It has three branches, the left gastric artery, the splenic artery, and the common hepatic artery. So the left gastric, the splenic artery, and the common hepatic artery. First we will discuss the left gastric artery. The left gastric artery is the smallest branch of the celiac trunk and it will run down the lesser curvature of the stomach. But before reaching the lesser curvature of the stomach, as you can see, the left gastric artery describes a convexity oriented towards superior. From this convexity, the left gastric artery gives off esophageal branches. Those esophageal branches are supplying the lower part of the esophagus. Sometimes, from the convexity of the left gastric artery, can arise an accessory hepatic artery, which will supply the left lobe of the liver. Keep in mind that the accessory hepatic artery is an, is an anatomical variant, so it is not always present. Actually, the accessory hepatic artery occurs rarely, as the left gastric artery runs down the lesser curvature of the stomach, gives gastric branches. Now we'll discuss about the common hepatic artery. Common hepatic artery will split into two branches. The gastroduodenal artery and the hepatic artery proper. The hepatic artery proper gives the right gastric artery. Like the left gastric artery, the right gastric artery also reaches the lesser curvature of the stomach in its lower part and approximately at the midpoint of the lesser curvature of the stomach it will anastomose with the left gastric. Keep in mind that the right gastric artery may also arise from the common hepatic artery, but usually it arises from the hepatic artery proper. The hepatic artery proper will supply, of course, the liver, giving off two branches, the left branch for the left lobe and the right branch for the right lobe of the liver. From the right branch, of the hepatic artery proper will arise the cystic artery. The cystic artery, of course, will supply the gallbladder. The gastroduodenal artery descends from the common hepatic artery and will be related to the posterior surface of the first part of the duodenum. So it passes posteriorly to the first part of the duodenum and then splits into two branches the right gastroepiploic artery the right gastroepiploic artery which gives gastric branches on the greater curvature of the stomach in its lower part and also gives off epiploic branches the other branch of the gastroduodenal artery is the superior pancreaticoduodenum 
the superior pancreatic duodenal artery will split into two branches, an anterior superior pancreatic duodenal and the posterior superior pancreatic duodenal, which will supply the duodenum and the pancreas. The gastrododenal artery, as it passes behind the first part of the duodenum, gives off the retrododenal artery, which will supply the first part of the duodenum on its posterior surface. And the last artery to discuss concerning the arterial supply to the stomach is the splenic artery. The splenic artery is the largest branch of the celiac trunk and it passes behind the stomach in relation with the superior margin of the pancreas. It will reach the helium of the spleen and before reaching the helium of the spleen splits into a superior trunk and an inferior trunk. From the ending of the splenic artery, close to the helium of the spleen, arises the short gastric arteries. Those arteries will supply the fundus of the stomach. Close to the helium of the spleen, also from the splenic artery, arises the left gastroepiploic artery, which runs down the greater curvature of the stomach to be anastomosed with the right gastroepiploic artery. Sometimes from the splenic artery, behind the stomach can arise the posterior gastric artery, which is directed upwards and will participate in supplying the fundus of the stomach. So those are the arteries which are supplying the stomach. I hope this drawing, it was useful for you. See you next time. Bye.